what's up you guys welcome today we are doing a new shop my stash um there are a lot of updates to this one a lot more well maybe it feels like there's a lot more than there normally are but let's be honest i don't know um it's a lot of products a lot of updates i actually used up multiple products um and i have a lot of updates let's let's jump into this uh, so in case you're not familiar, Shop My Stashes are videos where I go through the makeup that I've been using for the last round, which is basically the last two weeks. Um, I tell you my thoughts on it, little mini reviews. Then we go through my stash and pick out new makeup for me to use for the next two weeks. I actually have a couple of things that I know that I want to use um, in the upcoming round that I just got and I'll, we'll talk about those later. I'll leave a timestamp down below if you're only interested in picking out the new makeup, and I will also leave links to everything down below as per usual. Let's go ahead and jump in. So starting out with primers and foundations, um, oh, and color correctors, I guess. Color corrector, Urban Decay Naked Skin and Peach, still going strong. It's still trucking along. Um, I've been using this. This isn't my favorite shade of the color correctors, uh, just because I don't personally feel like my skin needs, like, this shade of color corrector, um, but I am just trying to use it up and kind of make my way through my color correctors. I actually, from the boxy pop-up that's happening, I think right now, um, purchase like a color corrector palette because I'm almost almost completely out of color correctors so I have that coming but I'm trying to use up some of these and this one is it's getting close closer to the end but not quite there yet I love I love these though I talk about these every week you guys because I don't have very many color correctors left uh, primers the Tarte timeless smoothing primer I had I didn't use this week this is going into the next round with me because this was from the shit that don't fit project so I'm trying to use it up the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer hydrating this one I did use um, this was like the one that I used it's really close to being done okay there's like that much left in it that little bit uh, I have been using this I really like this this is like water on your skin like it, it's so good at hydrating it makes my skin feel so good and it's a good base for um, a large variety of foundations you know water-based foundations but still really good I like this um, so hopefully I'll use this up soon and then I can kind of move on but that is going into the next round with me as well this is the last foundation that I have from the shit that don't fit project that has ended uh, this is the pure least perfect glow BB cream so this has been what I've been using this I like because this actually has really good coverage. I have this much left, so I'm hoping to use it up either in the next round or the round after that. It depends. I tend to build this up a little bit more because it is a BB cream, but this gives you really good coverage and it has like a nice glowy finish. Like always, I'm wearing all this makeup today, uh, so I like the finish that this gives you. I think it looks really pretty and honestly this with just cream products I think looks so good and I've been really into that look lately um so I'm gonna really sad when this is gone but I have a bunch of other foundations that I really want to try to use up before they go bad so I'm gonna finish this off first you'll hear me talk about this again soon for cream products I was using the UOMA stay woke concealer in fair lady this one is a, it's thick it's a thicker concealer I do like it um the wand is like super big I feel like I don't know how much is left in this because I was having a little bit of difficulty there I have to like re-dip every time I use it at all uh, but I like this this is a really good concealer it's good for every day if you're doing like a cream look so you want kind of a heavier coverage concealer um, to kind of get the cream contour concealer shape down it's a good one I like this uh, I actually like this a lot more than I thought I did I only I only wish it was bigger because this is only 0.17 fluid ounces and I kind of wish you did get more product in here but it's a good concealer and I'm really excited to keep using it in the future uh, the UOMA double take sculpt and strobe duo stick in white pearl this is the cream contour on one side the cream highlight on the other side the cream contour you guys it's gone um, for the past several days, every time I put it on, it's been like scratching up against my face. Um, and then today I finally used like the last little bit. I could dig it out of there, but I don't like doing that. I try not to do that as much as possible. Like I don't, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I dig it out? I don't know. Um, but I do have some of the cream highlight left. I've got this much left. So I will be moving this to my highlight drawer and just using it as a cream highlight from now on. Uh, hopefully I can use this up pretty soon because this is like really big for just this little bit of product left in it. Uh, but I love this. Seriously, this is one of my favorite cream contours I think I've ever tried. This is in the shade White Pearl. And if you have like fairer skin like myself, um, this is such a good shade of contour. It's very gray toned. It looks so good and so natural. This I've spoken about many times before because I freaking love it. 
so good. Oh my god, it's so good. And then also, um, I'm planning to, I have a couple of products that are just kind of getting older, you know, and I want to try to use them up. And so I pulled in this because I had the cream contour and the cream highlight and I wanted a cream blush and I was like, this is, you know, let, let's go ahead and try to use this up. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Color in Beach Babe. Uh, it says it's a bronze color, but this is like a total blush. Uh, it is a darker blush, but I used this when I was doing the cream contour and oh my god, I love it. So I'm going to try to kind of focus on it and see if I can use it up. Ideally by the end of this year, I will be posting like pictures and stuff on Instagram So make sure you're following me there if you're interested, but I feel like it's just it's time for this one to go So let's go ahead and try to get it moved out um, I think that that's one of the things that I would like to try doing more So now is you know if I if I notice something like oh man that's been in my collection for a while. I'll go ahead and pull it out and just try to focus on that instead of doing project pans because I feel like, well, and I'm still planning on doing project pans, but I feel like the random project pans where you're just picking out products, I, I, I tend to leave behind a lot of the products that should be used up. So I'm going to see if this works for me. We're just kind of experimenting here. I don't know. I like this blush though. It's so pretty. I've used up multiple blush sticks from this brand, from this line. They're gorgeous. So definitely... Definitely excited about that one. For other face products, I had pulled out the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder in Translucent, as you can see. Um, I did use this. I used this to kind of put on my under eyes and kind of bake with a little bit, I guess. I liked this, actually. This made my under eyes look so good. I used a little bit today, but I put my makeup on in the wrong order today, so I don't know how it looks. Uh, but I liked this, actually. And I think I might have a, a second one of these, too, um, which I'm not mad at because it's a good powder. And I don't know. I feel like you could use it for just setting your makeup, too. Like, you don't have to use it for baking. But I actually did like it for that because it was really good at just kind of making my pores look blurred out, you know, and that's what I really like. So I did enjoy that. Um, for pressed powder, I had the Bite Beauty Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder in Light One. This, again, had so much hard pan on it, and I ended up scraping a lot of it off. Um, I used a good amount of this. I feel like there's, you know, usage shown. I don't know. I really liked this, though, in all seriousness. It is flexible. I ended up using this as well in another video that I did where I was trying out some of the new products from Huda Beauty. And I loved it because this really is like a flexible coverage. So you can build it up to be like a nice full coverage powder foundation. Or what I like to do is take a powder brush, kind of dip it in, and then just press lightly all over your face. Don't really like build it up or blend it out or anything like that. Just press very lightly and it gives you uh, a really good set to your makeup, but it doesn't add like a bunch of coverage or change how your face looks. You know what I mean? I like this. This is honestly a really good powder. And I feel like a lot of powders are kind of a dime a dozen, you know, they all do kind of the same thing. This one I really enjoyed. So I will definitely be keeping an eye on sales for that in the future. For bronzers, I had brought in a face palette, the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. This is so stupid old. It's so old, you guys. Um, <laughs> definitely expired, but it's powder products, so I'm okay with continuing to use it. I have pan in two of the shades. I did not hit a new pan this round, um, but I will say I really liked using the Endless Summer shade. That's the bronzer I'm wearing today. This bronzer is stunning, and I like pretty much all of Too Faced bronzers, um, but this... I... I really genuinely wish that this is like a product that they would bring back because this was so popular when it was released. It took me forever trying to get one and I really wish that they would bring this back though because this is, if you like Too Faced and you like bronzers and you like their bronzers, this is the holy grail. I do want to start using this up more just because this is one of my oldest palettes that I own and it definitely needs to get shown some love. I think this came out in like 2012 definitely needs to get so shown some love but I cannot part with it and unless the texture or the scent or it unless that stuff changes or it starts breaking me out I'm gonna keep using it for blush I was using the Charlotte Tilbury cheek to chic swish and pop blusher in sex on fire appropriately named because it looks like a nipple I really liked this in all seriousness uh, again wearing it today I think that this is beautiful because you can kind of do a very light dusting and give yourself just a nice natural flush to the skin or you can build this up 
and it can be this dark but like still kind of glowy blush. Oh, so many different ways you can use this. I have a couple different um, shades of this blush and this is kind of the one that I felt went more with what I was going for this round which is why I ended up using this one but it is so pretty. All of these blushes are so pretty and the shades are just gorgeous so definitely like this. Good blushes. They are expensive but I do think it's worth it also worth it you guys <laughs> I promise there are products that I didn't like and I'm gonna get to those because uh, there was a lot of eye base makeup the my my base face this round was outstanding and I loved every single second of it my favorite though <sighs> this is the Nabla skin glazing glass skin finish glow powder and ozone I saw so many people talking about these when they first came out and I ended up finally getting one I got like this and I think like a bronzer or something I need more immediately I don't have any more in my, in my highlight drawer I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna get more you guys seriously first of all like you can see how much I love this and this is what I'm wearing today and if you guys like this type of highlight look get it it is so pretty I really like highlights but then there are some that I love and this is one that I love like I cannot if you are a highlight person and you like, you know, get it. Just go to Ulta, pick it up. It'll be linked down below. This is such a pretty shade. And I mean, you can tell just in the packaging. Like this was, I think I had used this like twice before this round. And you can tell how much I used because it's oh, so pretty. So pretty. The last thing in face is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I like this as a setting spray like I like it okay it works it's great I don't like the scent of it I don't know what that scent is but I don't like it it says coconut water that does not sound like coconut water to me I don't know I don't know what the scent is like does anybody know what I'm talking about because I'm not a fan of that at all um, but I like the spray like I'll continue to use it I just don't I don't know if I'd repurchase it because I do not like that scent moving on to eyes um, okay, so I had started, let's start with brows. I had started with the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in Medium Brown. Um, I had just purchased this before this round and I wanted to try it out because it was new and I wanted to try it and see how it worked. A couple of things. Number one, not my shade. Medium brown is not dark enough. Um, so I really went in there and I still used it, but I really went in there trying to just deepen the shade uh, So I ended up using a lot having said that like this is the basically the shade that it was if you guys can see that Having said that I don't think I used this much because it's gone This was brand new never been used before the start of this and I was using it today And I ran out and I was like what the why I did use more than I normally would have if this had been in my shade but even so no how two weeks no no thank you um far too expensive for that the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is lasts me longer than that not much longer but a little bit and I, at least I know brow is has my shade I don't know why I bought this shade I don't know if this was like just the darkest one that they had or if the pictures online were just like really screwy and I assumed this would work for me because obviously no um I did like the pencil itself had it been in my shade, I think I would have liked it a lot more, but I would not repurchase it because it's far too expensive to go through it that quickly. And I feel like if you use a lot of brow products, you get what I mean, because then that's the bit, the biggest issue with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz is you go through it so fast and it's so expensive. Um, but when I realized that that wasn't my shade, I actually brought in the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in Dark Brown. This one is a bit closer to my brow shade, and so I just kind of put a little bit of this on top. And that's what I'm saying. I wasn't using like that much of that brow pencil. I don't know. I like this though. This is good. Um, this was actually really easy to work with, and it is a good match for me, so... I like that. For eyeshadow base, primer, whatever, uh, I was using the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Eyeshadow Primer in Undressed. Oh my goodness. I definitely think that this is going to go bad soon because it is on the old side. The scent hasn't changed yet though and that would kind of be like my basis for when this goes bad. So I'm going to, you know, try to use as much of it as I can in the time frame that I have. Um, but I loved this. And Bare Minerals is one of those brands, the packaging is just plain and boring to me, so I tend to just kind of skip over it. This is one of those unsung hero products. This was so good. It went on like super smooth and then it blended out super smooth and it provided the best base for eyeshadow ever. Oh my god, I loved it. 
Are you kidding me? This was so good. So unbelievably good. I had pulled in two eyeshadow palettes this time. Um, the Too Faced Sweet Peach. This, I don't like, oh, I hate this tin packaging. Um, I used up, well, I didn't use up anything in this palette, but I used, I got use out of a lot of the shades this time, and uh, my daughter got into it a little bit, so it's a little, it's a little, little. But I have a couple of, like, small dips in here. I actually really enjoyed this. I'm not the biggest neutral shadow person, as you guys know, but I was able to make some really pretty looks with this over this last round, and I really liked how it all came out. Um, so I definitely... I didn't keep a lot of Too Faced palettes in all of my, like, declutters and stuff, and this one always made it through, and I think this is one of my favorite ones that they've done. I didn't love the Chocolate Bar series. That one was kind of meh to me. Uh, I also had the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. Whew. Okay, first of all, I love everything about this. I used this probably, I, I want to say this time, actually, I probably did use them about 50-50. I may have used this one, like, a couple days more. But I actually did get a decent amount of use out of both of them, which I'm very proud of because that normally does not happen to me. Um, in this, though, I started this palette. I think it had one pan in it. Now it has three. Um, I have. I don't remember what pan I started with. I want to say it was Nebula because that has the biggest pan now. Um, but I have a pan of Nebula, Mercury, and Supermoon. All of them are the glitter shades. I love this palette. There are so many beautiful looks that you can make with this palette. This is seriously one of my favorites. And this is one of those ones that was on my wish list for so long. And I finally picked it up and oh, overjoyed. So yes, love this. If you don't have it, I do recommend it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty and the shadows are so great. All right, let's talk eyes. Um, I had started this project with the Tarte Tartiste uh, double take, like liquid and pencil eyeliner. I finished off the pencil eyeliner and the liquid eyeliner got really weird. It got like, started to dry out, but it would transfer a lot. I don't know. So I ended up putting that in my empties and I switched it out for the AOA Studio Art Artista Eyeliner Pen in Black. This was gifted to me. And then also the Ofra Eyeliner in Black. Um, this was actually a really nice eyeliner and it still has like a wrap around it because I couldn't get the wrapper off when I first opened it. But I actually really liked this. Um, and it looks, it, it lasts really well on the under eyes. That was a good one. The AOA liner, I've tried in a video before and I really did like it. It is a little bit on the lighter side as far as opaqueness. So if you're going for kind of just a smudged out eyeliner look, this is what I prefer to use this for. But it's good no matter what. Then I also had the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in Frosted Lilac. <sighs> I don't like this one. When I had originally pulled this out, I was like, oh, perfect. I can use this as kind of like an inner corner highlight. That's not how it worked out. Um, I mean, like it kind of did. You can use it for that, but it's not the best for that. There are other eyeliners out there that are a lot better. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to keep using this, you know, see if we can. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't love it, though. Mascaras. We need to talk about this, guys. I know, I was like, I'm gonna open up some mascara and then I'm gonna use those for six months. No. Um, so I have three mascaras here. The Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. This is what I'm wearing today. I like this one. This one, I will keep. My plan was also to have two full sizes and one mini at a time every six months. This one. The Tristique Good Vibes Mascara. Um, if you've been following me, you know my thoughts on this. I hated this mascara for years. I hate the packaging, it's clunky. You have an eyelash curler here that is made for mice. And um, this whole, this is so much. Like this is just so much, why? Anyways, then I finally tried it and the mascara, oh, fell in love. It was so good. But wait, there's more. Um, the mascara sucks because every single time I use it, it completely like melts into my under eye and I just end up with these ridiculous black raccoon eye streaks everywhere and I hate it. This, no, I am so over this mascara. I never want to see another one of these again, ever. I hate this. No, I'm done. I don't recommend it. Go away. And then the Sugar Uptown Curl Lengthening Mascara in Black Beauty. This one is okay. I prefer voluminous mascara. Uh, this one is like not really doing anything to my lashes though So I'm gonna keep the milk one and then today I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the sugar and the tristique because I can't handle those anymore Also for lips. Okay, so the ColourPop lippy pencil in Obvi. This was good. Actually. I really liked this. It was a good shade it went well, okay <sighs> I had the Anastasia Beverly Hills the matte lipstick in dead roses from my shot my samples project I used that up so instead of but that was like the only lip 
product that I had pulled out for the last round. So instead of uh, pulling out one from every drawer, I just pulled in this. This is the Flesh, the Lip Swipe. This is in Jiggly. Um, I've been wearing this for the last few videos, actually, and I've really been enjoying it. I've obviously made a good amount of use in the product itself, but I really like the shade of this. I think it looks so pretty. Uh, so this is actually a really big win for me because I was not expecting to like this one. I feel like it looks almost, like in person, it looks almost like peachy in the pot, pan thing, but uh, on, on me, I really like it. So this was good, um, but I am excited to switch up products now. And then also, in addition to the nude sticks, um, I also have this. This is the NYX Lip Primer. This is so old. I need to use this up, so I'm going to be taking this with me um, and kind of doing like a mini project pan, seeing how long it takes me to use up the rest of this. So if you're interested in updates, uh, check out my Instagram. Okay, that was a lot of information and a little bit of my time. Nope, that was a lot of information and a lot of time. Um, I, <laughs> I just talked really fast. I really hope you guys understood all of that. That was fast. I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's go shop for new makeup. See what we can find. Let's do this. We are going to start with face palettes. And since last time I pulled one from the shelf, this time I'm going to go ahead and pull one from this drawer. And a lot of these I have used recently. Um, but I haven't used any of these Tarte ones recently. So this is the Tarte Hamptons Weekender Contour Palette. This is like one of their little mini size palettes. And I have hit pan on the highlight shade, but this is a blush, bronzer, and highlight. And I really do enjoy these palettes when I use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out and try to make some more progress in this. Okay, from this drawer, I am pulling out a color corrector and then a um, concealer. Like I just used that one. Let's see what's over here. So I pulled out the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in yellow again. And then for concealer, I have the Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. This one is in shade C8, and I don't think I've used this one yet, so that'll be really fun to try out. Both of these were literally just like picked at random because um, I can't fucking see back there. Okay, for this drawer, I'm gonna go ahead and put my eye primer that I used this week back, and I'm gonna pull out one of these tubes and honestly I'm going to pull out um, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance because this one is just kind of on the older side so I want to make sure that I'm getting as much use out of this as I can so I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy out and then for brow products in the back there this time for brows I had used a pencil um, and a gel but I had kind of grabbed the gel afterwards I'm going to use a pomade and I'm going actually you know what Ooh. I'm gonna use a powder. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty Brow Struck in medium brown. I have not used this in a while, but I actually really enjoyed this. It is a beautiful brow powder and it looks so good on the brows. So I'm gonna use this and then I'm also gonna pull out one of my clear brow gels to go along with it. This is the NYX Bear With Me. It is from the cannabis line. So I'm gonna go ahead and be using these this time because I love this, but I do feel like if you're gonna use something like this, um, a brow gel on top of it is much better. Um, now for eyeliners, what I normally do is kind of just pull out liners at random. So that's what I'll be doing this time. I'm just going to kind of reach into the bottom grab the first thing I feel, put the other one back, reach in at the bottom, grab the first one I feel, put the other oh my God, put the other one back, and then grab the kind of grab around randomly. First one I feel, put the other one back. So we have, this one is from Marc Jacobs. This is a new liner to my collection. This is the Highliner Matte Gel Eyeliner Crayon in Black or Emerald. So it is like a, it's an emerald shade. Why this was in the neutral shades, I have no idea, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out this time. And then from the kind of more colorful eyeliner section, ironically, um, this is the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick. This is in the shade Gold Plated. So it's gonna be a gold and emerald kind of eyeliner week here, which I'm okay with. And then liquid liner. This is the Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner. This liner I do really like. So it'll be an interesting week. I wonder what type of eyeshadow looks I'll be able to do with these, but I'm kind of excited to find out. Now, I normally don't pick out mascaras, but since I'm skipping out on both of these, I would pick out one full size and one mini size mascara. Um, again, I'm going to try to go towards the bottom because that's going to be where some of the older ones are. So let's see what I can find. There's a full size. Oh, here's a mini. Okay. The full size is the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. I don't remember 
if I've tried this one or not. So that'll be really exciting because I like Fenty. And then this is a mini Ico Lash Alert Mascara. Um, I really have liked all of the Ico mascaras that I've tried thus far. So ideally, that'll be good. Uh, a good mixture here. And hopefully I like these a little bit more than I liked the other ones. Okay, for eyeshadow palettes, um, I'm going to put back the old ones that I was using. And I think... For this upcoming round, I actually want to pull out another Huda Beauty. This is the Desert Dusk palette. This one is so pretty, and I feel like this would look really good with the green and gold tones of that eyeliner, and I feel like that would be just really nice eyeshadow looks. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out, show it a little bit more love, hopefully make it work with those eyeliners, and I'm going to pull one more out to replace the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I think I'm going to do um, an ABH palette, because I haven't used Used any of these in a while and I think oh come here I think I'm gonna go ahead and do soft glam because this one desperately wants more attention uh, really pretty shades and again I feel like this would be really nice to use with those eyeliners so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out and hopefully show it some more love this time okay so now the kind of uh, oversized drawer I have this I just got this from the Nordstrom uh, anniversary sale this is the hourglass veil translucent setting powder um, I don't know I think this is like a mini size but I'm going to keep it like in this drawer uh, but I really want to try this out because I have not tried the hourglass loose powder before so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out for this round because um, yes I'm like super excited about it I just love hourglass so that'll be really nice to try out for pressed powder i'm replacing the bite and i don't know what i plan on picking this time um it's probably just going to be another one at random i think i'm going to go with i feel like i use those all the time let's go with one of these this is the covergirl clean fresh uh pressed powder in fair i feel like i have the majority of my powders are either covergirl or a cosmetics like i don't know how true that is but I know that I have a lot of both of them. So let's go ahead and get some more usage out of this CoverGirl one. I love this Clean Fresh line. I think the products are so good. So I'm excited about that one. Now for bronzers this time, part of me is wondering if I should do another cream contour and I kind of really want to. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull out, oh, I'm gonna pull out this Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in Light. I have not gotten to use this nearly as much as I want to, um, but I do like this. It is such a good cream contour. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out for cream contour. But then I also, should I get a regular bronzer? Because I already have one in that palette. I think I'm going to skip the powdered color products this week. I'm going to focus on that palette. Um, and I'm going to just kind of stick to cream products, if that makes sense. So for blush, um, the nudies, the Nude Stick Nudies Matte. I'm going to go ahead and keep this out in Beach Babe because this is the one that uh, I'm trying to kind of just make some progress on and use up a little bit because this is one of my older ones. So that one will stay out. And then for highlights, honestly, there's so many pretty ones, but the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Goldgasm. Um, this is so pretty and I feel like I've, I hardly ever use this. So I really want to uh, try to just get some use out of this. And I don't know, I mean, I feel like I'm really going for like a gold, green look. Part of me even wants to change my eyeshadow palettes for more like green and gold based things. Um, we're definitely sensing fall vibes here. Okay, now for lips, I'm gonna come back to the lip liner because I'm gonna wanna pick out a lip liner that matches like the lippies that I pull out. And I'm just gonna do one per drawer like I usually do. So in this particular case, um, I feel like last time I had a lip pencil, I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna pull out a gloss this time though. And I think I'm gonna go with something very simple. I'm just gonna do this Juvia's Place gloss. This is in uh, Cherry Love. So pretty and I like this because it is a red, a really deep red. Uh, again, great for fall vibes. But also, uh, because this is a gloss, it's a little bit sheerer. So that'll be perfect for what I kind of have in mind. Okay, for liquid lipsticks, um, I I think I'm gonna go I honestly don't know this is always like one of the hardest things to decide for me because there's so many in here I think I'm gonna go with this this is that about face paint lip color matte um, in last good night this was from an ipsy bag and I actually really enjoyed it when I tried it so let's use it a little bit more plus look it's so tiny it's so cute it's adorable lipsticks again what am I gonna pick I don't even know um I think I'm just gonna close my eyes and grab one okay this is the flesh beauty in siren oh talk about 
fall vibes. Are you kidding me? I don't even know if you can see that, but that is like super deep dark purple. I love that. That is going to be so pretty. So yes. Um, what is this mixture? I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get a lip liner that I can use with these three. Like honestly, that's just such a random color combination. And I have that NYX lip primer, so I don't really need like a whole thing. But I would like to have some type of liner. I guess I should probably... That one lost a cap. I guess I should probably pick some type of neutral. Okay, this is the Illamasqua coloring pencil in raw. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this out. I should be able to use this with at least a couple of those lip shades just as a base. So go ahead and pull that out. Okay, and then lastly, um, I need a setting spray. I put back my Too Faced one. And again, this was part of the set that I got from Nordstrom. This is the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I wanna use this so bad. I wanna try this out so bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out to use because I'm really excited about it and this is another hourglass product that I've never tried so I'll let you know how it goes so that is the makeup that I will be taking into this next round I feel like that was so chaotic and I don't know why I'm really excited though um, we're definitely reaching for some kind of fall vibes this round which I love I'm so ready for fall and I'm so over this ridiculously hot summer with like random ridiculous flash flood warnings okay I need fall Thank you. So I actually kind of like how that worked out. It was not intentional, but even, and I was considering switching the palettes around, but honestly, even though they're not like golden green base palettes, I feel like they do have some like folly vibes, folly colors that will work well with what we're apparently going to go for now. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. <laughs> Let me know down below in the comments what you guys are currently using in your makeup stash. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that bigger subscribe button if you'd like to see more of me. And I will catch you guys next time. Next time I will talk slower, I promise. Have a great one. Goodbye.